Hi everyone, my name is Angela Kim. It is such a pleasure to be um, introducing what is artificial intelligence for this special AI for EU and Women in AI collaboration. My name is Angela Kim. I'm the ambassador for Women in AI in Australia and also Chief Education Officer. It is such a pleasure to introduce you about Artificial Intel Intelligence 101 Intro Session. Women in AI is going to work AI for EU in the next 10 weeks to introduce what is AI and introduce about all the material is quite easy to understand for everyone. And also we're going to work through what is artificial intelligence, what is data science and AI in general, and AI for business, and also responsible ethical AI, and also how to use GitHub to get involved in the GitHub project. And also we're gonna introduce about Python coding for AI as well. So let's begin. Artificial intelligence, AI makes it possible for machines to learn from experience and adjust to new inputs and perform human-like tasks. So what is artificial intelligence? Using technologies, computers can be trained to accomplish specific tasks by processing large amounts of data and recognizing patterns in the data. AI is much more about the process and the capability for superpowered thinking and data analysis than it is about any particular format or function. Although AI brings up images of high-functioning human-like robots taking over the world, AI isn't intended to replace humans. It is intended to significantly enhance human capabilities and contributions. That makes it very valuable business asset. There are differences, however, for example, machine learning is focused on building systems that learn or improve their performance based on the data they consume, it's important to note that although all machine learning is AI, not all AI is machine learning. To get the full value from AI, many companies are making significant investments in data science teams. Data science, an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific and other methods to extract value from data combined skills from fields such as statistics and computer science with business knowledge to analyze data collected from multiple sources. Now, let me introduce about different types of AI. When people talk, ab talk about different types of AI, we generally talk about weak AI versus strong AI. Weak AI, also called narrow AI, is artificial narrow intelligence, is AI trained, and focused to perform specific tasks. Weak AI drives most of the AI that surrounds us today. Narrow might be a more accurate descriptor for this type of AI, as it is anything but weak. It enables some very robust applications such as Apple's Siri, Amazon's Alexa, IBM Watson, and autonomous vehicles. Then how about strong AI? Strong AI is made up of artificial general intelligence and artificial super intelligence, artificial general intelligence or general AI is a theoretical form of AI where a machine would have an intelligence equal to humans. It would have a self-aware consciousness that has the ability to solve problems, learn and plan for the future. Artificial superintelligence, also known as superintelligence, would surf surpass the intelligence and ability of the human brain. While strong AI is still entirely theoretical, with no practical examples in use today, that doesn't mean AI researchers aren't also exploring its development. In the meantime, the best examples of ASI might be from science fiction, such as how the superhuman rogue computer assistant, assistant in 2001, a space odyssey. Now, let's get into details about why is artificial intelligence so important and why AI is such a buzzword. 
AI is important because it can give enterprise insights into their operations that they may not have been aware of previously. And because in some cases, AI can perform tasks better than humans, particularly when it comes to repetitive, detail-oriented tasks like analyzing large numbers of legal documents to ensure relevant fields are filled in properly. AI tools often complete jobs quickly and with relatively few errors. This has helped fuel an explosion in efficiency and opened the door to entirely new business opportunities for some larger enterprises. Prior to the current wave of AI, it would have been hard to imagine using computer software to connect riders to taxis. But today, Uber has become one of the largest companies in the world by doing just that. It utilizes sophisticated machine learning algorithms to predict when people are likely to need rides in certain areas, which helps proactively get drivers on the road before they are needed. Today's largest and most successful enterprises have used AI to improve their operations and gain advantage on their com competitors. Now, what are examples of AI technology and how it is used today? AI is incorporated into a variety of different types of technology. Here are six examples. Automation. When paired with AI technologies, automation tools can expand the volume and types of tasks performed. An example is robotic process automation, often called IPA, a type of software that automates repetitive rules-based data processing tasks traditionally done by humans. When combined with machine learning and emerging AI tools, RPA can automate bigger portions of enterprise jobs, enabling IPA's tactical bots to pass along intelligence from AI and respond to process changes. The next one is machine learning. This is science of getting a computer to act without programming. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that in very simple terms can be thought of as the automation of predictive analytics. There are three types of machine learning algorithms. The first one is supervised learning. Data sets are labeled so that patterns can be detected and used to label new data sets. The next one is unsupervised learning. Data sets aren't labeled and are sorted according to similarities or differences. The last one is reinforcement learning. Data sets aren't labeled, but after performing an action or several actions, the AI system is given feedback. Third one is machine vision. This technology gives a machine the ability to see machine vision captures and analyze visual information using a camera, analog to digital conversion and digital signal processing. It is often compared to human eyesight, but machine vision isn't bound by biology and can be programmed to see through walls, for example. It is used in a range of applications from signature, identification to medical image analysis, which are very popular these days. Computer vision, which is focused on machine-based image processing, is often conflated with machine vision. The next one is Natural language processing, NLP. This is one of the most popular um, ones that used around us and everyone can find it around us. In fact, this is the processing of a human language by a computer program. One of the older and best known examples of NLP is spam detection, which looks at the subject line and text of an email and decides if it's junk. Current approaches to NLP are based on machine learning. NLP tasks include text translation, sentiment analysis, and speech recognition. The next one is self-driving cars. Autonomous vehicles use a combination of computer vision, image recognition, and deep learning to build automated skill at piloting a vehicle while staying in a given lane and avoiding unexpected obstructions, such as pedestrians. Next one is robotics. This field of engineering focuses on the design and manufacturing of robots. Robots are often used to perform tasks that are difficult for humans to perform or perform consistently. 
For example, robots are used in assembly lines for car production or by NASA to move large objects in space. Researchers are also using machine learning to build robots that can interact in social settings. Now we've learned about very basic introductions about what AI is. Why don't we have a look at now industry applications of AI? Every industry has a high demand for AI capabilities, including systems that can be used for automation, learning, legal assistance, risk notification, and research. Specific uses of AI in industry include healthcare. AI applications can provide personalized medicine and X-ray readings. Personal health care assistants can act as life coaches reminding you to take your pills, exercise, or eat healthier. Retail. AI provides virtual shopping capabilities that offer personalized recommendations and discuss purchase options with a consumer. Stock management and site layout technologies will also be improved with AI. Manufacturing. AI can analyze factory IoT data as it streams from connected equipment to forecast expected load and demand using recurrent networks, a specific type of deep learning network used with sequence data. Next one is life sciences. From ensuring drug safety to getting new therapies to market faster, AI technologies can unleash the full potential of data to solve some of our greatest health challenges. The next one is banking. Artificial intelligence enhances the speed, precision, and effectiveness of human efforts. In financial situations, AI techniques can be used to identify which transactions are likely to be fraudulent, adopt fast and accurate credit scoring, as well as automate manually intense data management tasks. Public sector. Artificial intelligence can make smart cities smarter. It can support national defense with mission readiness and predictive maintenance. Across the board, AI can improve program efficiency and effectiveness. Now we have a look at what are the applications actually in practice. Why don't we look at the roadblocks to re realizing AI's full potential? What are the issues that actually challenge is facing using AI? Despite AI's promise, many companies are not realizing the full potential of machine learning and other AI functions. Why? Ironically, it turns out that the issue is, in large part, people. Inefficient workflows can hold companies back from getting the full value of their AI implementations. For example, Data scientists can face challenges getting the resources and data they need to build machine learning models. They may have trouble collaborating with their teammates, and they have many different open source tools to manage, while application developers sometimes need to entirely record models that data scientists develop before they can embed them into their applications. With a growing list of open source AI tools, IT ends up spending more time supporting the data science teams by continuously updating their work environments. These issues are compounded by limited standardization across how data science teams like to work. Finally, senior executives might not be able to visualize the full potential of their company's AI investments. Consequently, they don't land enough sponsorship and resources to creating the collaborative and integrated ecosystem required for AI to be successful. Now you can see that the challenges and the benefits of using AI in practice. Now let's talk about the very important thing, which is really foundations, foundation block of really utilizing, take the maximum benefit out of AI creating the right culture. Making the most of AI and avoiding the issues that are holding successful implementations back means implementing a team culture that fully supports the AI ecosystem, 
in this type of environment. Business analysts work with data scientists to define the problems and objectives. Data engineers manage the data and underlying data platform so it's fully operational for analysis. Data scientists prepare, explore, visualize, and model data on a data science platform. IT architects manage the underlying infrastructure required for supporting data science at scale, whether on-premises or in the cloud. Application developed, developers, developers deploy models into applications to build data-driven products. I hope you, enjoy, you enjoyed this introduction 101 for what is artificial intelligence and the applications of AI and what are challenges we are facing implementing AI. This is very first module of AI for Everyone from Women in AI and AI for EU collaboration work. I cannot wait to actually watch the second module, which will be provided a week later. And we are so excited to bring all different global chapters, Women in AI, providing different aspects of AI and different contents about AI and how to learn AI and how to actually go from there. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye. Thank you.